All right, guys. So although there's a lot of amazing things with the fitness industry, there are some things that kind of make you sit there and scratch your head. Uh, and me being someone who's in the space, I wanted to talk about those things and hopefully we can turn the tides here. All right. We can make the world, like I said and before, a better, a stronger place uh, and just kind of maybe get rid of some of these principles that we're going to be talking about. So let's get right to the first one. All right, guys, issue number one is going to be dogmatic uh, ideology, basically. So what I mean by that is when people think their way is the only way, you see that a ton in the fitness industry. And mainly I think it's just somebody's trying to make a name for themselves. They're trying to go against the grain uh, and just stand out. When in reality, uh, a lot of things, you know, are kind of figured out by now. Okay. There's a lot of um, meshing of ideas and there's commonplace for tons of different things. So if you are seeing people who are just preaching one thing and one thing only, or they're trying to steer you in their direction, uh, I would say be skeptical, kind of keep your mind open uh, and realize that there's many ways to skin a cat here uh, in the fitness industry. There's tons of different ways to do different things. And you have to also remember that your body is, you know, one of, uh, billions and billions of people, okay? So how you respond to something is gonna be different than how other people respond to other things. So you have to remember your individual genetic makeup and who you are. Uh, so everyone's gonna be different and you have to figure out what works best for you and don't get caught up in the one and only way. But seriously though, one thing I want to address though is if you're drinking anything but HD muscle protein, you totally are screwing up. You're not getting any gains, it's complete garbage. Uh, they don't test it the way that HD muscle tests it. And I guarantee you it's not 100%, okay, it's probably only 95%, this is 100% uh, grass fed whey. All right, this is the stuff that you need to be taking and if you're not, you're gonna turn into a pathetic loser. All right, so the second one, the issue with the fitness industry is the lack of transparency, right? We have a ton of people claiming that they do things that they're actually not doing, or they're, you know, the fake natties of the world, okay? There's tons of fake natties, they're everywhere. It's like a plague. We have all these people who are lying about not being on gear or steroids, and they're trying to market that their program or their magic supplement is gonna make you look like freaking the savage who is from a mutant world and has an absolute body that would crush your eyes just by looking at it. So we need to get rid of that. We need to be honest. We need to come out and just say, hey, this is what we're doing, okay? This is what we're taking or whatever, what have you, and be straight up with the people because you're giving them a false image and a false sense of hope. We can't have a false sense of hope. I'm freaking tired of the fake daddies, okay? Yeah, this ruffles my feathers. Look what? Hey, Joe, are... Joe, Joe, we got that order of needles in. Uh, Matt, I'm kind of filming. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, just disregard, disregard that. <laughs> disregard. Okay, guys, third one here is gimmicks. It's just straight up BS, right? There's a lot of people out there who have these products or these training ideologies that we know for a fact they're not using with their clients. And what they're using it for is to grow their following, okay? So we have uh, the Spleen King out there, and we got the Josh Seedmans that are promoting things that I'm pretty sure they're not doing to their entirety or they're just trying to grow their following and it is eye catchy and I get it that maybe that's a tactic they wanna use but in the fitness industry, we want, I'm a big advocate of being truthful and honest with people, okay? And we're trying to make sure that uh, we're not falling for these gimmicks. We're not wasting tons and tons of money, uh, like I said earlier, with false hope that they're gonna give us the results uh, when it's just a ton of crap, okay? so. Don't fall for the gimmicks, all right? Don't fall uh, for the traps that they're setting out for you to fall into. And yeah, you guys know what I'm saying here. All right, guys, so really what I need you to actually do is go to zashrink.net and purchase my new banded wrist program. Okay, so there's new science showing that your wrists are connected to your endocrine system, which is gonna secrete a lot of testosterone. And this motion right here where it's like a half clap where you think you're clapping, but you're actually not, um, is really how to get those test levels booming. So I need you guys to go to that, okay? Use my discount code, uh, wrists save lives, and uh, buy the new program uh, for the banded wrists, uh, testosterone, inflation rate. Fourth problem with the industry is this stupid quick fix mentality, okay? Results are not gonna come overnight, so stop selling your 30-day program for this or 30-day transformation for that. 
okay? Or stop doing this and you're gonna look like a savage in 30 days. These things don't happen overnight, okay? It takes years and years of hard work. And that's the truth that people don't wanna sell, okay? It's gonna take effort. It's gonna be uncomfortable. And really what it takes is discipline, okay? You have to be disciplined and you have to be consistent. So don't get caught up in those programs they're selling you for anything less than months of hard work, okay? It's gonna take months. Yes, you can feel better in a couple of weeks, maybe even days, but you're not actually gonna see the results that you want until it's after months of hard work and dedication. So don't fall into that trap. All right guys, but seriously, for a small rate of 10 grand, I'm gonna make you a champion in less than 30 days. All you have to do is click the link down below, fill out the information and give me your credit card. We're gonna get you rocking and rolling. All right, the last one of the issues with the fitness industry is the me versus we mentality, okay? All I see when I go on my freaking Instagram is me, 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 my life, my body, my training, this, this, this. And we need more community. We need, we need more thinking about other people and serving the people out there in the industry, okay? No one cares so much about your life. What they care about is that you care about them, all right? So stop spewing out your story, all right? And do more of highlighting other people and helping other people, being a good, genuine human being. This is what the industry needs. But seriously, I know the reason you guys are here. You wanna be just like me. I mean, who would not wanna be like me? I'm freaking Jack. I'm good looking, okay? I have everything you guys want. This gym, I'm making over 100 freaking K a year. I'm driving a sick ass whip. You guys know that you want this lifestyle, okay? So if you guys are subscribed to this channel, I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know to be a freaking alpha male, because that's what I am. I'm an alpha male. I call myself the lion, and you need to be lions too. We need more lions going out there eating people's faces off, because that's what this whole thing is about here. So if you wanna be a lion, obviously you wanna be just like me, because I know I'm the man, and uh, yeah, so that's why you're here. All right, so let's be real, guys. The fitness industry has a lot of amazing perks and it's done a lot of amazing things. However, we do have flaws, just like everybody else and every other industry has its flaws. But me being a content creator and somebody in the space, I wanna make this place better, all right? So I appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel and following the journey, okay? We're all in this together. We're trying to improve constantly and work on ourselves. And one of the best things we can do is also grow our community, all right? So make sure that you're helping out the fellow men and women in the industry. Uh, we're just trying to improve the best that we can each and every day. And don't fall for the BS out there, okay? There's a lot of it. Uh, I'm trying to always be real and transparent with you guys. So uh, that's what you're gonna get if you're watching this channel. And like I said, just be skeptical, all right? And uh, have fun and enjoy the journey and all these, uh, and stay a lean, mean, strike machine. Peace.